Okay, folks, here we are at PA Biodiesel Supply. We're going to show you a couple different ways of mounting your centrifuge. Okay, um, the one way we do it is right here. Okay, we mount it on top of a vented drumlet. Notice both bungs are removed. Um, if you think you need more venting, you know, you can, if you check our tutorials, there's a gentleman who uses, goes to Lowe's and buys dishwasher vents. He swears by them. Um, but all the evaporation, it's heated, it's cold, hot goes to cold. Okay, it's on our testimonials, you'll see it. Okay, so this is one of the ways, I, I, I really like this one. Okay, if I want to heat my oil um, and evaporate, you know, some guys boil their oil. I don't. I heat, I, I do a lot of what they do in biodiesel. I'll have an insulated tank. I will heat it. I have a drum filter and it's filled with insulation. I'll let it sit for 10 hours. I have an 8 inch standpipe in it. The water and most of the gunk will drop. I'll drain it off. The 8 inch, anything below the 8 inch is crap. I'll take my oil from the 8 inch. But getting back to mounting, this is one way. Okay. With the poly bulkhead fittings this is an excellent way if you don't have a welder okay this instead of having welded fittings on these work great this is one way here's another way this is one of the other ones this is you take 3 8 inch couplings weld them in you take 3 quarter inch supplies and we weld a fitting on for a thermometer okay this one I like, especially if you're using the bypass as an adjustment on the pressure, because as you notice, whatever's bypassed, it's all dirty oil. It goes all straight to the bottom, okay? It's probably six inches from the supply to the pump. I like this one. If you don't have a welder, we sell these bulkhead fittings. They are 3 8 inch. You drill a hole, you mount this, you can mount that instead where we have a 3 8 inch welded fitting this one tightens up right on your drum okay this is you have a hole saw pull the hole make the hole with the hole saw tighten it up crank down on it you know what it's as good as a welded fitting it really is um, you can't use these down on the bottom mostly you probably could get a rubber washer I, I just wouldn't trust it um, Viton washer probably be better you're talking at 350 to 400 degree you know temperature uh, but again that's excellent for up here uh, so like I said there's many ways this is good if you're using metal or poly okay that'll that'll help you mount your centrifuge um, these are just that's a way right there right here is a, a different way on this one what I like is you take your hole saw you can still put a lid right over this. Um, if I'm heating this, most of my heat's dissipating right out the top of the drum. Okay, it's carrying evaporation, but it's carrying most of my heat that I'm paying money to put in. This is vented. The evaporation's still going to take place. One of the main rules of thermodynamic thermo. Oh, I can't even remember what the word is. Hot goes to cold. Okay? That is hot. This is hotter. It will take all the evaporation out. Okay? Uh, again, there you have it. Um, mounted on top of the drum. That's right, honey. Over there. You know, I got, I got to get a new assistant. Okay? So, mounted on top of the drum. Welded fittings. Or just with 3 8 inch bulkhead fittings okay this is an excellent way to go these are inexpensive I believe they're $12.99 on our site uh, you can't beat it there you have it folks it's all simple I mean it really is this is one of the better ones I like 99% um, of them out there when you're using the bypass you're dumping clean and dirty oil right in the top this one here and you could do that this the same way. You could pretty much put your bulkhead fitting there, run the bypass right there, 
and drop it down. You could probably thread a pipe on this and again drop it right down to the bottom. Again, uh, just bringing you some information. Hopefully it's helpful for you. Thank you.